everyone, my name is Noya and welcome back to Baking with Noya. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pumpkin pie. I figured that this is the perfect treat for the fall season. So let's get started. As you can see here, I'm using a fresh pumpkin and that's because I'm going to be making fresh pumpkin puree. Now of course you can feel free to use um, the canned pumpkin puree. However, just make sure that there's no spices that are already added in the can because we're going to be adding our own spices when we make the filling. Another thing to know is the pumpkin choice that you make. Make sure to choose a pumpkin that's small in size. Usually it'll be labeled a pie pumpkin. Alright, so next what we're going to do is we're going to cut the pumpkin. Just like that. Into two halves. And then using a spoon, we're going to basically carve out all of the seeds out. Once you've removed all of the seeds, we're going to take a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. And then we're going to take both sides and flip them right over, just like that. And then we're going to put this into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 35 minutes to 40 minutes. You'll know it's ready once you take a knife and then if you find it inserts really smoothly and easily into each pumpkin, then you know it's ready. The ingredients that you will need to make this pie crust are flour, cold butter, make sure it's cold so that way you get a nice flaky pie crust. In addition to cold butter, you need cold water as well. As cold as you can get it is preferred. And then you'll also need a little bit of sugar and some salt to balance out the sweetness. So first you're going to start off with adding all of the dry ingredients together. The sugar, the salt, the flour, mix that all together with a whisk. And then we're going to be adding in the butter. Essentially what we're doing here is we're taking the butter and then we're rubbing it into the flour. Just kind of squishing it with your hands until it's nice and flaky and all incorporated. Once you obtain a nice texture, just like this, we're going to be adding in our water. Make sure to add the water a little bit at a time. You're only going to need two to three tablespoons, and you might not need all of it, so don't add it in all at once. Basically, we're going to keep adding water until we form a dough. Okay, now we're going to be taking the dough, add it into a simple bag, or a saran wrap it, whatever you have on hand. And this goes right into the fridge for approximately half an hour to an hour just for the dough to firm up a bit and be able to roll it out. Alright, so now we're going to test it to see if it's done. It's been about 40 minutes. That's it very smoothly. So it's ready. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually try and like peel off the Actually store this in the fridge for up to a week with no problem and make your pumpkin pie whenever you like. Now it's time to prepare the pumpkin pie filling. First you're going to add in your eggs into a large bowl and then you're going to use a whisk just to whisk them all together. To that we'll add our sugar. Add in all of the uh, pumpkin puree at once. Every spatula to get all of them. It's the magic of this tool. <laughs> Add in the vanilla extract, the salt, and the pumpkin pie spice mix. Last 
lastly, we're going to add in some whipped cream. You'll notice I mixed everything in by hand because you don't want to over mix this. Otherwise, you won't get that nice, smooth um, pie filling, especially when, once it's baked. Um, you might experience some cracking if you uh, move it with a mixer or a stand. So always do it by hand. Okay, so this is ready. We'll just set this aside and then we'll start working on our pie crust stuff. Okay, so now that our dough has chilled in the fridge for a bit, it's ready to roll out and make our pie crust. What I like to do is I like to take a little bit of flour and then you're going to flour your surface. Just kind of like with your hands. Just like that. Instead of sprinkling, like most people do, I use this method. That way you get a nice even surface uh, coat of flour everywhere. <laughs> Alright. And also, I like to put a little bit of flour on the hand so that the dough is a little bit sticky. It doesn't stick to your hands either. So we're just going to push that down, flatten it into a bit of a circle. I'm using a foil pan for today. You can use a glass Pyrex one, whatever you have on hand works. So just before we finish rolling this, we're going to actually spray our pan. I like to use this non-stick vegetable spray. It just makes your life easier. To test to see if it's going to fit in your pan, just take your pan, flip it over. Take your rolling pin and then just slowly lift the dough onto the rolling pin. Just like this. And add it into our pen. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it's okay. Next, what I like to do is you just take your fingers, press it down. this recipe is you actually don't need to pre-bake your crust uh, before adding your filling. You can if you want to, but it's honestly optional. Sometimes when you bake it first, especially with pumpkin pie, you might uh, risk basically over-baking your crust, which you don't want. So just take like a scraper and then you're going to carefully cut off the edges. Another great tip that I love is you can actually create like this little mixture that you can add in your pie crust while it's baking. And what this does is it helps your pie crust to not become soggy, especially if you're planning to leave it in the refrigerator for a few days. Um, for example, it'll be perfect the first day, but over the course of a few days, it might start to get soggy. So this is something that's perfect to avoid that. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take this mixture, which consists of grinded pecans along with uh, grinded sugar cookies. But honestly, anything you have on hand works. Just carefully spread that around in your pie crust. What I like to do for this step is to use a ladle. And just pour it in just like that. Now it's ready to go into the oven. We're going to bake this at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 40 to 50 minutes just until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. As the pumpkin pie is baking in the oven, we can start working on making little decorations that we can decorate the pumpkin pie with once it comes out. So I have a little bit of extra dough here. I'm gonna roll it out. I have some cute little shapes here. There we have it. Place all your shapes onto a parchment paper lined pen. And we can bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit approximately, I would say, 10 minutes. All right, so I just took out the pie out of the oven. It's been baking for approximately 45 minutes. And the best way to test if it's ready, you just take a knife, insert it about one inch in. If it comes out almost clean, it's ready. Another way, if you notice like it's a little bit jiggly in the center, that's completely fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just leave this to rest a bit for about 10 minutes to cool down. And then you're gonna place it into the fridge for approximately six hours or preferably overnight. So that way it's nice and cool and you can top it up with like some whipping cream afterwards or the little decorations we made earlier, whatever you choose. 
The next step we can work on is putting together our whipping cream. This is an optional step, but it's just meant for extra decoration and flavor to top off your pumpkin pie. Okay, so I would say approximately half a cup to a cup. It's honestly uh, based on your preferences. I'm gonna add a half a cup. And then we're just gonna whip this up on high speed until it comes together. Next, you can also add a little bit of icing sugar. Last but not least, we're just going to glaze our pumpkin pie. So as you can see here, I've left this overnight in the fridge and now it's nice and cool. This adds a nice shine. And once you do this, you can decorate it however you like. My little cookie decorations as well that I'll be using to decorate the pie and some whipped cream. So I'm just gonna do like little rosettes. And there we have it. Thanks so much for watching.